Lou Ann Hammond, DrivingTheNation.com, and I'm here with Jason Castriota. And you are the design director. Yes, for design Saab. director for Saab. You are working in design for automobiles. Yes, yeah. I did 10 years in Italy between uh, Pininfarina, where I was chief designer, working there for eight years and working with a lot of fantastic brands like Ferrari and Maserati. Uh, I was heavily involved in a lot of projects there. And then I went on to be director at Bertone, uh, the crosstown rival to Pininfarina, and was there for one year before I decided to return to the States. And at that point, I opened my own company. What kind of design cues can we take from this car going forward in Saab? Well, what we can take above all is the philosophy and, and a bit of the character of the car. We really wanted to reach back into the aerospace roots of the com company. So you see a, a real aeronautical design here, you know, particularly the nose cone front end, uh, you know, a bit of the, the teardrop of the canopy, the tapering, uh, and a very aerodynamic driven design. We have a 0.25 CD on this car, which is really quite exceptional considering its dimensions, its wheel and tire package. I noticed that there is an, an airplane design in the back. Is that going to be the logo of That's Saab? That's the, actually the original Saab logo. You know, Saab was, of course, the aerospace company that decided one day to build a car. And, and this car is actually taking some inspiration from that first car, what they call the Ur Saab, you know, UR Saab. We're going back to the roots of the company where they were really very quirky, very innovative, very sporting, driver-oriented cars. You know, a lot of people don't realize Saab actually won back-to-back -back World Rally Championships. Saab actually pioneered the turbo engine for production cars. Saab was selling 200 horsepower cars when Porsches had 185. You know, people have lost sight of all this. And, you know, even as far as the, the mid-80s, you know, a Saab 900 Turbo was a legitimate competitor to a car like a Porsche 911. And all that is, has been a bit lost. Some of the, let's say, the, the more bolder, cheeky things that Saab used to do, you know, we're going to get back to that. So you really do want to get back to the sort of four-banger, power-to-weight ratio, the, as you said, Absolutely. the CD of 0.25? Know, we want the core, you know, this car is powered by a 1.6-liter turbo engine, you know, right. four-cylinder with 200 horsepower, and then we have the electric motor in the back, which is driving the rear wheels, as well as being able to torque vector, you know, changing traction from wheel to wheel, side to side, Sweet. to give you great traction, but without the encumbrance of a big, heavy motor. And, and that's another homework assignment for Saab. You know, Saab doesn't want to create a bunch of Russian dolls. You know, we've never even had this many different products. You know, we now have the 9, well, not this car, but you have the 9.3 family, you have the 9.5, you have the 9.4X. You know, in one year, you know, year and a half time, we're going to have a whole new family of 9.3s. It'll be interesting to see the car that comes from this. Yeah, I, I think people are going to be very surprised. I, you know, there's the things that people really like about this car are exactly what they're going to see in the new 9.3. And, uh, you know, the things that, some of the things they like from the existing lineup are going to be there too. It's, it's going to be a very nice blend, a very nice transition. It's going to be a bold statement for sure, but it's going to be absolutely 100% a soft. Jason, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Absolute pleasure.